All new at 6, the Plaza Theater in Palm Springs is inching closer to its fundraising goal for a multi-million dollar restoration of the 1936 landmark. As News Channel 3's Jake Ingracia reports, the project secured millions of dollars in the state's budget plan. Construction could be just around the corner. The theater's fundraising committee president tells me that this new award from the state puts them within the finish line of their goal. And those plans for restoration, well, they are already being drawn up. We're vetting architects as we speak. J.R. Roberts, president of the Palm Springs Plaza Theater Foundation, says with more money pouring in, his dream restoration of the historic venue in downtown Palm Springs is closing in on reality. The project receiving $2.5 million in the state's budget plan that's awaiting final approval Thursday. After a $5 million contribution from TV producer and Palm Springs resident David Lee and an anonymous $2 million donation, the project has nine and a half million bucks in the bank right now, nearing its initial goal of 10 to 12 million. But Robert says thanks to inflation and the new hope to leave an endowment, the price tag has gone up to 12 to 16 million dollars. We want to leave enough endowment behind that it's never a burden to the taxpayers. The Plaza, once home to the Palm Springs Follies, first opened in 1936 and played a big role in Palm Springs history. The renovation aims to restore it back to its original glory, bringing in new seats, new theater equipment, and making infrastructure repairs and structural improvements. Roberts says the new money is thanks to advocacy by Assemblyman Chad Mays and Lieutenant Governor of California Eleni Kunalakis as well as a record budget surplus in the state. We think of ourselves as a little town, but apparently we're not. And more importantly, others are paying attention to us, and we all need to be grateful for that. He says the fundraising goals are expected to be met by the end of this year, and construction on the Plaza Theater could begin in January. Jake Ingracia, News Channel 3, Palm Springs.